If he wanted to achieve his aim of eating her, why did he communicate with her? Oh, she's good. I like the weird swarm intelligence a lot more now. That's so clever. Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch That Three Body Problem, episode four today. Uh, something to say about episode three uh, already. Uh, so uh, there was uh, supposedly a three body star system shown that was Alpha Centauri, uh, Centauri and um, actually it was. It did throw me off, if you remember, and uh, I now know why it threw me off, because uh, the way the star system is depicted in the show is rubbish. Um, it was, or let's say, artistic license. Like, if we take it as artistic license, like, it's very, um, uh, 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 very, like, it's right in a way, but uh, the problem is there are not three stars in the system, like, as you would imagine, probably. So they showed three suns, like, in the triangle, and the planet circling around all of them. That is not how it looks. So it's basically a binary star system, like you would imagine. Like So there are two suns and planets orbiting them in weird ways. And then there's a third star, but the third star is like a fifth of a light year away. But it still exerts some influence on the system. So the third star is like way out. Like if you had, uh, if you had the, one, uh, the, the binary system as two modes of dust, um, they would be like, I don't know, 80 kilometers apart of the two star, like like those two modes of dust and kilometer, uh, 100 kilometer away, the third one would be, and that would still be, like, it would still be a three body system because they influence each other and are gravitationally locked. They are, but like, it's not like three suns in a system directly and everything is like doing stuff around it. Just wanted to clear that up. So that's also why I was confused because I was like, Alpha Centauri, it's two star systems, it's one binary and one single star system, but apparently they 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 are also having influences on each other, so that's why they count them as a three-body star system. I just <laughs> just wanted to uh, quickly uh, address that. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was interesting because... Um, so so the three-body three, three star system in the show is metaphorically meant, so... Just wanted to pull that out of there. So we already started with talking, but we will now delve into the episode. We will mourn Jack a bit, but probably no one's... Are people going to care? Because he didn't really care for other deaths, like uh, Cheng, I think, or what her name was. Like the, the daughter of Ye. So we will see how that plays out. And uh, let's see what uh, Clarence is up to. That's what I look most forward to currently. And let's just start, dig into it, have some fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment. And don't forget to check out my horror story, uh, Waters That Hated, free audiobook on YouTube, also pinned in the comments. But we will start now and have some fun. Here we go. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. Now, here we go, let's have some fun. Oh, 1982, what's gonna happen here? So we are finally back in the past. Oh, she is in London, how did she get there? Why is she there? I mean, uh, Mr. Evans apparently brought her, but what happened? Five years? Or what is it? Is Mr. Evans the father of... Uh, I think it was Chang. I'm glad you remember me. Of course I remember you. You were hard to forget. Interesting. Astrophysics. Ooh, an astrophysics conference. You made it off of that hilltop, huh? <laughs> you made it off of that hilltop. That's actually like... Commendable because I was under the impression that she was something like a, um, it was for her something like a penal colony. I mean, it wasn't, it was a research lab, of course, but I thought she was restricted to that place forever. So something must have changed. That's good, I guess. Uh, conferences, that's also a cool thing. Like, I love conferences. Um, 
Conferences and science, though, are mostly for getting to know people and not sharing knowledge, at least where I'm from. Like you get some new knowledge all the time, but you basically it's basically about meeting people and uh, getting to know people that do the same stuff as you do. So like if you see a talk or a poster of someone who did something you're quite interesting, you go there to meet them and to talk to them and then perhaps uh, like uh, have a beer with them in the evening or something. So. I wonder what she's sharing here on the conference or if she's just attending. You run his oil company now. Ooh, an oil company. Ooh. He runs an oil company. I love that. He was such an environmentalist and now he's running an oil company. What changed him though? So money changed him and what changed her? I mean Mao's dead. So new new person came in. And so she, yeah, so it's probably because of Mao's uh, seizing that she now can move freely and stuff. Things change. Yeah, things change. That's true. I'm the same man you met in Shenshi. Is it? Are you though? Life in that hut, trying to save a subspecies of the northwestern brown swallow. Or what? I could use the resources yeah. available to me to do more. So you take an oil company for that. Interesting. Interesting. Would, would that is such an interesting setup? But he's still drilling oil. Like that's so interesting. It's an easy way to make money for perhaps potentially good causes, but he's still using oil. Like he still has to do a deal with the devil, so to speak, from his perspective, probably. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, she wrote to him. Interesting. Nothing exists alone. That is true. So you found the aliens. What would you like to talk about? Yeah, what don't you like to talk about? What freaked up shit? Yeah. I did something. Oh, oh, that's an understatement. You did something. You freaked humanity, probably. Also, the composer here is Dwadi or whatever he's pronounced. I really like him. What happened to your cancer, mate? Did you did it get like confined or something to your liver or whatever you said? Or pancreas? I'm ready to go whenever you are. Oh, but Jack's dead, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Saul's there. Is Saul gonna tell him? Oh, God. Jack was supposed to pick me up like an hour ago. Yeah, Saul him. knows, man. That sucks so much. Why are you here? Oh, interesting. They have the... Oh, wow, she's crying. Yeah, man. Because she also knows, by the way. Why would you show them that? Yeah, why? Why? Why would you show them that, Clarence? What the frick, man? Holy shit, man. And uh, Davos is here as well. Uh, Liam. Liam? Leeson? I don't know the, his name. I'm sorry, but he, I, I like his, his acting in general. But anyway, I digress, like, because uh, Jin was it, right? She she probably knows why he died and she knows everything. Like, she knows something was doctored and stuff like, and she probably can't tell to them now, probably because I assume she would be the target then as well. Man, that must suck for her so badly. Yeah, you should have stopped him from leaving, man. Yeah. The one who lit my cigarette. Oh, wow, you talk to them about that. That's dangerous. Would you have done that? Would you have done talked to your friends about that weird woman? Because they clearly have means beyond your understanding, even like, and you're clever, so. People do, isn't it? There's 18 security cameras in and around your mate's house. She doesn't. But how do they do that? Manipulate electromagnetic uh, radiation or something? Do you know about that? Yeah, how do you fuck do you know about it? Because she observed you, or whatever you say. 
observation. Are you gonna back her and send her to that to that conference he, she was invited to? Next week, a meeting to welcome you to the organization. I'm going with her. Why? Why? Why are they allowed to do all this? I'm a bit. That's interesting because I would assume she's not allowed to talk about her invitation, and I'm. I assume that. Like, if you can create a countdown when people do research, you can create that same countdown when people talk about your stuff to keep it secret. Like, why, why isn't that a thing? I hope we get that explained. Spend the rest of your life wishing he had acted differently the night he died. Yeah. Guild is so bad. But it wasn't her fault, though. Like, what? Like, it was his own responsibility and his own choice. And I mean, it was an honorable choice in the end as well, even though it was probably for selfish reasons. Like he was like, I don't want to have anything to do with that. Like, but in the end it was technically, if I understand it correctly, for humanity, if they, if the aliens are against humanity though, you know, if they just want to survive, I mean, that's okay. He just want to shut up. They had to go and pick a fight with- Yeah, man, that was, that was a bit stupid, yeah. I think they're real. Who are real? Who, yeah. Real and they're coming. Yes, they are. But I get her point, like, but from our perspective, it's pretty clear that they're real. They should ask Ye, but they don't know yet, I think. But that's the interesting thing. That's going to be interesting. Asking Ye about this. The people that work for them? Or an alien. Yeah, they are like in league with them. That's so weird. So have you. Fighting people. Does she mean competition? I mean, that's something different. Augie is such a strange character. I don't, I can't get a grasp on her yet. I know she's very childish, but not always in a negative way. It's just hard for me to understand her. Like, I understand uh, Jin a lot, I think, but, yeah. Panamax oil tanker. Has Ooh, oil Mr. Here. Evans, there he is. Canyon Sea, 200 miles north of Alexandria. But isn't that international uh, waters? Can they strike there? Oh, and he's got a dish on the back of his boat. Judgment Day! It's called Judgment Day, mate! What? <laughs> That's so awesome. His ship's called Judgment Day, so we know why he's in it. <laughs> he wants to judge the race, I guess. And they indeed have a whole city on there. I've seen it several times in shows, that's a cool idea. But doesn't that also... Doesn't that also pollute the world so much? Like, I know oil tankers, they pollute a lot of the... Like, a lot of waters with the oil and the petrol and stuff like... It's so interesting that he chooses these measures, like like things that go against what he ultimately wants. Like, I don't know what the saying is in English, but in Germany, it's not, I, I would translate it literally like um, the the um, the end justify. Yeah, the end justify the means here a bit. It's but it's so corrupt what he's doing already. Gabriel, bonjour. Madame Chiang nous parlait du Santi. Oh, you are telling them about Santi. That is interesting. Brainwashing children, always a nice thing. Don't put this out of context, please. Oh. They can work miracles, though it has a godly undertone. Like, they are sold to the children as saviour beings. Interesting. What happened to Rooney? He didn't work out. Oh, yeah, Rooney didn't work out. That's sad. Should we increase security? What security can we provide that the Lord can? Wow, man, that is so fucked. <laughs> so fucked. The way he's talking about the Santi hive mind or whatever it is thing, it's like he's talking about God. I actually don't know why he would like I definitely need why he thinks of that thing as God. Because itself might not have chosen that name. And I, I'm sure we will find out, so I will not 
dive too deeply into this, I think. But what is very striking is that, that it has to be something in the line of, in the direction of what he thinks God is. So for him, God is an intelligent entity, as we've been over a bit, that can like support people. That's interesting. And I think the actor is Jonathan Price. I didn't re re recognize him actually. We have new comrades joining us through the game. Also comrades. Like, I mean, you know where that's from. For the London summit tomorrow, we're planning. We oh, interesting. Hive my nose. Thanks. They're watching you right now. She's saying, or it is saying, whatever, um, your enemies, not our enemies. That's also interesting. Why would it do that? Doesn't it care for them in the end? That's weird. Don't be afraid. Nothing will happen to you. Oh, that's assuring. Oh, God, why is she saying that? That's um, okay, so she can see that him through the radio. So they must somehow communicate via electromagnetic uh, waves, I guess. Uh, like, or, or some kind of wave, because, I mean, sound is also a wave. It's a different one from electromagnetism. It's, trans uh, it's not transversal, of course, but it's longitudinal. But whatever, you probably don't care about that, but... Uh, Man, that thing's so creepy. Also, protecting can be so, so scary. I mean, you technically would protect people by keeping them alive forever and um, and stasis fully conscious forever. Like, that would protect them. Like, at least their bodies. Like, these things have to uh, be carefully considered. Ooh, what is that? Don't know that it's that mortal. No, it's not Mortal Kombat, I think. I'm so shit at those games. Winning. It's a lot of blood. Yeah, the boss just smashed through my ribcage and snatched my heart. Yeah, so I think that was a fatality. <laughs> it's a heart snatch. I don't know it. That's not a job. That's a word you learn to be nice. <laughs> wow, that is such a bad burn. Think you're a loser. Just think you're lazy. Hmm, interesting. And look what you've got to show for it. Wow, man. Yeah, it's harsh. I mean, his wife died. We know that. Um, it's probably hard. I don't know, like, it's that must be such a difficult situation for him. But I do think he can show a lot already, like, he's working on important stuff. Then again, what would his son understand about that? Like, he wouldn't really understand it, I think. Everything the light touches is... Oh, King. Lion King, great. He probably... He probably did uh, watch that with him when he was... Uh, when he was young. I just don't think the police are heroes. Well, I'm not police. Yeah. Well, some... Uh, come on, man, I don't know. I mean, there are police assholes out there, but most of them try to do their job, I guess. That's the problem, by the way, as well. Like, the bad cases always get the light, like the, the public exposure. Oh, that's so stupid. But again, police forces can be abused. I mean, I'm, obviously, I don't have to tell you that. But they're also protecting people. Like, it's... Yeah. Ali said it. <laughs> so this Ellie... But still my boyfriend, so what does that tell you? Don't you've got terrible taste in men? Yeah, so I would. I mean... Wow, what an asshole. What an asshole. That was so uncalled for, man. There is something deeply damaged in that child, I think. Perhaps not, perhaps. I mean, perhaps it's just a fit. I don't know it. I actually don't know it. I just have a... a natural dislike for these kinds of things. Because, I mean, being a single parent must be so fucking hard. I can't even imagine. Like, I'm, like, being with two people, like, I'm right now. I, when I became a parent last, like, oh, half a year ago, it gets so hard. Like, I can't imagine doing it alone like he's doing. And I don't know. But then again, by the way, I, I have seen this exact situation in real life, but worse. And it turned really, really sad in the end when the parent died. One of the saddest things I've seen. I don't know. I don't even know what he's supposed to do here, Clarence. Be 
they're more for his son, but then they don't have money and are thrown out because the son isn't working. I mean, the boyfriend's uh, uh, the boyfriend of his son obviously is not helping him either here. I think perhaps it's it's difficult. It's too complex, probably. When I make my millions and I buy you a sweet pack, man, you're I'm such a dick, a man. Loser. That's such a dick move. You know, he could have said it differently as a, like perhaps he even meant it as a joke. Perhaps he even meant that as a joke, but. Why would you get a million? No one gets a million. Like, it's a nice dream, but so is owning a yacht or something. Like, I wouldn't care for that, but people dream of that, I heard. So, um, like, it's it's just like, perhaps he's just reassuring himself to justify what he just did. I don't know. I wonder why the dad's not going against what he's saying. Like, I'm not saying, like, shout at him or anything, but, like, have a real talk. But it's hard, I guess. Yeah, I should be all right. Yeah, they go through the funeral. The thing is, though, um, they seem to be a lot sadder than um, he was at the funeral of uh, Avera. Think there's anything we need to get rid of before his family gets here? Perhaps the blood man? See? Ooh, he's got a TIE fighter in the back in his room. What is that? What did he find? They're gonna find something very sad, aren't they? Some memorabilia or something. Yeah, I knew that. Man, that's so sad. Also, that he had to, like, in a way, um, hide that. That's so sad, man. What life did Jack have? Couldn't even let, like... The fact that he couldn't put that up in his, his flat somewhere or in, a, in an album or something, that is so sad. Probably... He was ashamed of that or hated it or any like there was a negative emotion connected to that to his childhood man it's so sad what is that a little figure of i don't know that some some soccer player i don't know i do data and equations and hypotheses and models oh they used hypotheses that's good you finally did that watching and listening making sure you're safe how could you ensure that clarence you you couldn't even see the weird woman on the video feeds. You gather the intelligence, you leave. No one is the wiser. Why would they assume she can leave? Like, wasn't the Jack thing that he was not for the cause? Wasn't that why he was killed? Like, if she's not for the cause and the hive mind lord knows everything, I mean, that could end so badly. Oh, God. In case of what? In case you can't go home. What? Yeah. Yeah, because the weird lady's after you. Yeah. Who are you really talking about? Um, the aliens. Who else? Yeah, of course they are. You don't need to believe in Santa Claus to believe people give gifts on Christmas. Hmm. Oh, that is so awesome. What was that line? That line was awesome. Yeah. I do think, and I'm really interested, I know some psychologists that are probably more versed in the field than me are in the comments, so correct me if I'm talking rubbish here, but um, these these fairy tale figures, these avatars like Santa Claus, uh, or like, I don't know what, like like these these avatars of, of, of concepts, Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, all these things, they are basically something to try to understand some some um what would you say i some cultural principle or quality like santa claus is like giving gifts like honoring each other but also being like reflecting on what you did wrong and taking time in the year for those things and they embody that as this weird weird creepy dude that comes into your house once a year but uh yeah, even though, of course, Santa Claus isn't, like, material, 
the idea of him lives through the actions that are done. And I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's such a brilliant line. Do you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, do you believe in Santa Claus? Doesn't even matter though. That's the thing, by the way. It doesn't matter if Santa Claus is real or not. People still give gifts because it's, the idea is real. And yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh man, yeah, Clarence, you're having fun here, aren't you? I need some more creepy alien scenes. I hope I get them today. I am unsure if I could do that, by the way. I mean, I'm a scientist as well. I'm a pretty good actor, I would say, but I don't know. I probably couldn't do what she's doing here. So who's calling you? Your phone inside when you get to the location. Oh, it's the... it's Wade. Oh, he's called Wade. Still creepy though that they can like track her as well. So bad wolf and said, Grandma, what big eyes you've got. <laughs> Red Riding Hood. I used that an example in my Frieren analysis, by the way. It's such an awesome tale. Red Riding Hood. That's so good. We do not understand. What's he gonna Yeah. He intends to eat her. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes, that's true. She doesn't know. Yeah, she just no. The wolf is pretending to be the grandmother. Oh, it's so dark. Because like the little child they had in the simulation, this thing here might pretend to be nice and, and cozy as well. So, oh God, she got a hint that she's playing him. That would be so, so, so scary. He's wearing her clothes. He looks like her. He sounds like her. Oh my God. Yeah, like you dress as humans in the situations. Yeah, he's the wolf. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood doesn't know that. The wolf has communicated with her. Yes, he has, indeed. If he wanted to achieve his aim of eating her, why did he communicate with her? Oh, she's good. I like the weird swarm intelligence a lot more now. That's so clever. That's so clever. Why does he communicate with her? That's such an awesome question, because now that implies that if she was bad, she would have not communicated. She would have come and destroyed them. Um, by the way, uh, the, the wolf in Red Riding Hood that's a good question, like, why did the wolf talk to her on the flower clearing and then left her alone? Because he could have just eaten her and then the grandmother was... I think the wolf just wanted to toy with her, though, and she might toy with him here, so... Oh, that's so awesome. I love fairy tales. He communicated with her and she learned his intentions. Why didn't she run? I mean, it was too late. She didn't learn his intentions. He was hiding them from her. Yeah, he was. Don't you ever hide your intentions? That's an interesting question. Okay, so you might be a very truthful thing. They're trying to hide their intentions because, well, otherwise they couldn't get to us. Yes, probably. Oh, no. The intelligence operatives you warned me about. Oh god, what's gonna happen here? That's so fucking creepy. Yes. Animals that attack crops, food, and livestock. Your enemies are human. That's so interesting that uh, the Lord apparently doesn't understand metaphors. That's actually a sign that you're not that in, like... I would consider that if I... It is a sign of, of, of problems with thinking sometimes, not understanding, completely not understanding metaphors, like having trouble with some, I mean, there is cultural stuff with them and stuff, you, you know, but if you completely don't understand any metaphor, that is like, like, like uh, you, you should have probably a harder time learning and thinking. And I assume she does not have that, like she probably learned a lot already. So it's so interesting. Yes. Yes, well, I, you see, what, what I was doing there, I was, um... It's like a fairy tale. Yeah, see? I was describing them as pests because, well, that's what they are. But they're not. Inconsequential, easy to eliminate. Yeah, that's true. You can squash under your shoe. Like, yeah. 
Can't you ever say anything that you know to be? Ooh, that's an interesting question. What is known is communicated as soon as communication takes place. Hmm. So perhaps it can't lie. I would really like that. It makes it creepy. Because lying is something individuals do to protect themselves or gain an upper hand. Both, like, one of those or both of those, I guess. So if you're not that individualistic, in a sense, you don't need to lie. It doesn't matter. Also, by the way, metaphors are something I am doing research on, actually, and so interesting that um, it is the th same problem by the way, that I ran into with the three-body star system they showed. That was a metaphor for a three-body star system. It doesn't look like that. Like, how it works was important. Like, the general gist of what it did. And that's what a metaphor is for. And so I was like, also didn't understand. So I was also a bit slow there. Like, it's awesome, man. I love that. So the, the three-body star system they showed was a, was a metaphor. And it was a bit, like, perhaps thematic. It's interesting. I love that. So you communicate through thought. How do you do that? Through electromagnetic fields, perhaps? Animals squawking at each other. Again, a metaphor, mate. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, we all do sometimes. One way or another. That is interesting. Why would you tell her that? Yeah, the wolf is lying. We would like to speak to him. Why? Why would you like to speak to the wolf? Is he still in the grandmother's house? That is so fucking weird. What the fuck are you doing? Which forest? Yeah, man, she doesn't understand that. On your world. Oh, no. oh god, man. No, 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 Don't be not. careful, be careful, it's, man. It's not real. <laughs> it's as real as Santa Claus is. It has effects on the world. That's so awesome. I love this episode. Does a good job in addressing this problem of real. And I did think we I do think we talked about it last time or the time before, but it's basically from a materialist perspective, it is of course not real. Like there does not exist a wolf in a house. But there is a story out there about it, and you can picture it. Like you can build your an image in your head, most of them, if you don't have aphantasia, of course. But even then, the image is probably in your brain and your frontal cortex just can't access it. But I have to do more research on that. Uh, I hope I will be able to do that in two or three years, actually. But anyway, I digress. So um, the thing is that, is a metaphor real? And I do think there are two questions in it. Is it useful and, and is it material? I think that's always the question. I, I do think reality is cons always consisting of those two things, of the material thing, whatever it is, and how things work and the meanings behind them. So if he asks, is the wolf real? Like materialistically, no, but he has utility. He tells you stuff. So in that sense, it is a real thing in a way. It's just an abstract thing. But there is a lot of philosophy on on those thing uh, on those thoughts. The thought of our numbers real, for example, or is love real? Like the, this feeling you have, like not the chemicals. Again, like if you take love, for example, and you are like materialistically, love is the chemicals in your body that affect your brain, for example. But utility, love is there to create more life. Love is there to, to, to drive us forward, to guide our actions. You know, that's the utility. Like, it's always those two. Always those two, at least those two. Like, always materialistic thing, structure, and the other thing is always utility, function, process below. That's also, by the way, physics tries to not address the form about the latter, I think. Like, in physics, you don't give a fuck what the materialist thing is, but how it works. Like, and that is something very probably counterintuitive to people who, who are like, um, at least I, I always, when I was younger, I had the view that scientists described how the world is, but they describe how the world works. And 
I have read, because I did my PhD on this topic, I did have a lot of readings up on, for example, quantum physics, biology as well, chemistry, ideas that people had. And every expert will tell you, paraphrasing of course, on varying degrees and in varying facets, or uh, in varying dresses, so to speak, they will all tell you, it doesn't really matter what the matter is, it matters how things work and that we can describe it. There is a very, very big researcher that does research on um, understanding of genetics, like how people learn genetics. And he did say himself, I do see genes as purely functional units. Like, yes, it's a helix, then that's like roughly okay, but that doesn't matter. It matters what the function of the gene is. So, um, just want to put that out there. So, that's the thing, real. What do you mean by that? And it's easy to just say, what do you mean by that? Because I think that's a cop-out. I would say you should ask, real, okay, do you mean materialistic or of utility? I do think both of them are important to ask. And you can actually, I think, save a lot of confused discussions by asking that if someone says, is this real? And I think some more interesting discussions can be had on that. I hope I will have them because it's one of my favorite topics ever because it's understanding. Anyway, that was a long one. Hope you did not uh, skip it. <laughs> yeah, it's a story. It's a story. That's why my channel, by the way, is called Stories with Style. Because I think stories are the most important things humans have. Because it exactly tells you that. It doesn't tell you the materialistic story. It does tell you utilities. What happens in life. What can happen to you. What people have done before why people do stuff, why they can do stuff, what, what we are afraid of, what we strive for. That's what stories are. They are this utility pile. And that's, I think that's real, but it's not material. Hood, none so, of them exist. Yeah, they don't. That as well, existing, exist and real are for me the same things. Yes, they don't exist in a material sense, but they do exist as a function in the culture, so to speak. It is a lie about a liar? Yeah, that is so good. It is not a lie. No, it is not. That's the thing. Because, because that's the thing. If you only care for materialism, you will say this. This is the reasonable thing to say if you're just purely... If something is not material, it doesn't exist. And you can do that position. Like, I have people seen do it. But the thing is, then you have to say stories are lies. In a way, because they are wrong. They are, they are wrong and they are still told. But interesting, please put it in the comments. I would be interested. Do you think stories are lies because they're not material? Or would you say it like, I would probably say stories are of utility and that's what make them like real, in, but not in the material sense, in the utility sense. Also, tell me what you think about these thoughts. Like I have... I have thought a lot about this topic, so I mean that is probably what I'm best at actually, um, I would say. But again, you can argue that. It's always hard to say, but um, like that question is probably one of the most important things in learning as well. Don't get lost in the material world. Go to see what utilities you can gather through learning. This. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, why would you tell the alien entity to lie, basically? That's so bad. But at least it was honest till now, probably. <laughs> Did you just, like, fry the alien intelligent? Now. Oh god, that's so dangerous. That's so freaking dangerous. That's why you need us, my lord. Oh god, man, too late. Oh god, Help man. understand us better. So we... I'm not sure if he was afraid, but he might try to make a case for humanity here. Like, desperate attempt. A liar is someone whose words are false. Uh, a liar cannot be Yeah, trusted. that is true. So I don't trust you. Oh god, you fucked your race, mate. My lord? Yeah, man, that was so dumb. We are afraid of you. <sighs> Ooh, that is awesome. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. Oh, that is so awesome. Imagine that you don't have lies in your culture. 
and you have the luxury to have that and then there's a species you're bargaining with and you learn that they will lie. Like that's the most dangerous thing to your culture I think that you can probably imagine other than complete eradication by, I don't know, black hole bomb or whatever. Holy shit, man. My lord, are you there? Oh god, you fucked yourself so badly, man. What the fuck was that? My lord. I could have guaranteed, like, I saw this coming, man. Why would you talk My to lord, me? My lord, are you there? Jesus fuck, man. What did you do? You What the fuck, man? Why would you tell your alien, alien overlord that you are lying? Like, if it says I don't understand what lying is, then you can be like, yeah, lying's not real, and I don't know, like... Man, Evans, you fucked your... Like, this really, like, both ye and Evans did frick their rest, man, so hard. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Oh, watching drone footage, I guess. I see she's nowhere. Is there something invisible? Are they manipulating light rays so you can't see them right now? That would be awesome. I mean, we are pretty sure they can manipulate light at the visible wavelength, so... So, there's a spy in a bush. Who are you, jolly madam? Hey, are you barked? No! Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh, perhaps she was not barked. Welcome, Dr. Chung. Yeah, so they scanned her retina again to make sure it's her. I wonder what they can read from their minds. Oh, they put Clarence there and not a bark. I like that. That is, that is actually clever. I wouldn't have barked her either, I think. Because obviously they will figure that out. Where exactly are we going? To the summit. How? Okay, so she is bugged. How, why did they not check her for that? Our Lord. Yes, our Lord. So she is indoctrinated into the Santi faith. Oh, they saw her bug. Okay, no, they didn't see it. I think they're just trolling her right now. They just, they know she's bugged. They just don't care, I guess. I mean, if this thing can see everything, why would it care? It seems to be almost omnipotent to their, like, it's the, like, it's the usual, like, technology too far uh, advanced. It's not distinguished from red. You know that you know it, you know it. I know you all know it. Oh, that's a rather cozy place. Does she know people there? Ooh, it's the three-body problem. Again, this is wrong. Like, it doesn't look like this. Oh. Oh, it's the psycho woman. So she's something like a, a priestess or something, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> that's so mean that's so mean i'm so sorry I, I i stabbed your friend like 20 times i didn't think you'd come i know that voice oh yes that's plot convenience that you re recognize that but whatever i want to know why the universe works the way it does oh you you the big answers what's the big answer yes I trust in our Lord to provide them. That's so frick that he calls the aliens Lord. That is like... It, that is, that is um, a meaning of God. I don't understand why people have it. Um, in the extreme case, I can see a point for it, but it's basically... Um, imagine we would right now go to an island where people have not developed past, I don't know stone age technology and they exist i think um so if you would go there like they might consider our technologies far superior they couldn't distinguish anything like like and they would call us gods perhaps but it's basically the same thing here like it's but my point is it's not that far advanced like it's not like these uh santi could like just be like yeah 
one of the suns is gone now we have a normal star system saved you know it's not like they're uh what's it called the charter surf scale or something they're not a type 2 civilization which could control suns so they're like on our civilization level perhaps 0 0.5 points over ours um if you don't know the charter shift scale or whatever it's called, I, I cannot pronounce the name, uh, you should look it up. It's very interesting. It basically classifies civilizations by how much energy they can use. And it derives from that uh, what technologies they would have. For example, we are right now, I think, 0 0.85. We can use most of the resources of our planet. And uh, if you're like civilization stage one, you can use all resources on the planet. If you're civilization stage two, you can use the, so the solar system, all of it. Three is the galaxy, four is the universe, five is multiverses, blah, 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 blah. You, you get the gist, probably. So, like, for example, if you can uh, harness the power of the whole solar system, you would probably be able to do FDL travel. Like, it's it's it comes from not, not necessarily sci-fi, but it's basically an idea. But it's very useful, I think, to classify civilizations and compare them. So, what difference would you need to have to call something God? If you say... Um, God is the creator of the universe, you would need at least a, I think it is a stage five civilization that could create universes, in theory, because they can use all energies of at least one universe or multiverses. So, you know, um, they could obviously create some. So we, like, people would probably be there that would consider something like that God that creates universes. If universe creation is the sole criterion why you would say something is a god like then like things that are different of four on this cartridge of scales to these people would be gods that's the definition of god you you would derive from that but they are like 0.5 points away from us why would you call them gods i mean they, it's it's like if you don't think enough about it perhaps or if you're indoctrinated like the children in the ship were like we have to keep that in mind they were told this from like birth probably because they've known for like 30 years makes us all sound like religious loons but you're not except our lord is real <laughs> isn't that what they all say and again what means real by the way oh god that's a good point like god what do you mean is god material or is he utility by the way that is i think that's also the interesting i i have thought about it but not that much i would need to think more so i will not go into it here now and derail it more but that is the question. If someone asks you, do you think God is real? Often people are like, yeah, what do you think God is? Like, and that is a fair point. You have to like, like, um, say like about what you think. Like, is it what created the universe? Is it an entity? Like, or is it not? Like you would have, to, I think you, you would have to understand, like to, to tell the person, okay, for a god, these criteria need to be met, and you could discuss about that, and that's probably also an interesting discussion. But then the question is, is that real? And material? No. But the idea exists because you just like, talked about it, so it is probably of some utility, and in that sense it is real. But it's probably not what she means here, but it's such an interesting uh, uh, debate. I love it. Protecting you since the flood took your family away. Yeah, just because you know some of the past doesn't mean you like, I don't know, you know, they just had surveillance. It's an honor to be part of the family. Oh God, yeah, you're getting into a cult of fun. Our founder is coming. Oh good, your founder's coming. He's probably really, <laughs> is the founder, <laughs> is the founder okay after he told the alien that humans were a species of lying a-holes? I guess lies are also the core of human corruption, but I would, like, I just said that uh, I would have to think more about the statement I just made, uh, I have to be honest, but I think that's something I would love to think about. Perhaps there is some truth to that. Let's listen. We might admit okay. to something. He doesn't need to admit. You seem to be a secret organization, just like if you think he's bad. Not saying this, like, but if you have an objective to save your species, like, shoot him in the head. Like, I wouldn't do that, but, I mean, th if, if they are really cross. The founder of our movement, our reason for hope. Mr. Evans. Everyone, please welcome our founder. Mr. Evans. I love how the three-body problems uh, 
Oh, ah, oh, I see. That is awesome. She's gonna be so pissed. Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. I can't wait to see her be so pissed. Um, by the way, the way this, um, this, um, I know it's a bit derailing, but I think it's important. Uh, no, it's not. It's interesting, hopefully, to you. So, like, you know, these depictions where planets are like on a, like, if it would be a bad sheet and you put spheres in it and, like, it bends. Like, it's basically a model for Einstein's gravity. And there are, like, because I did publish a paper on that, because you can also, if you lose very small marbles, you can, and you use many, and a very big mass for the sun, you can actually show that uh, why the, why the solar system, um, like, why every planet in the solar system is, uh, circling in the right uh, in the same direction like every planet is circling the same direction in the sun and you can do that with that model like you take a bed sheet you take a spherical um, uh, uh, area uh, where you put it in so it can like hang a bit and then you take a, like a kilogram weight put it in the middle and then you take many many marbles and you just throw them on and like they will all collide and uh, conservation of momentum will then lead in the end to all marvels swirling in the same direction so you can you can simulate the um the creation of the solar system like that in a classroom that was a very good idea uh, someone of my students had to show that and so uh, yeah so it does have its its repercussions that model of course it has limits like for example there is friction in the model so things will just spiral in all the time but anyway so let's now get to her being mad at dr ye yeah so she probably doesn't really care that her daughter ended she looks so pleased as well oh that's so interesting what's she gonna do she just went for her. That is so fricked, man. Oh, she's jealous. She's jealous, yes. She will lie, perhaps, and frick up their plan. That would be interesting. I really like the character of the um, brainwashed girl. The actress is awesome as well. But they've been controlling what we see and hear. Yeah, and she was not on the spotlight as well. What's she gonna do now? What fricked up thing is she gonna do? When I was a young woman. Yes. I saw my country torn apart. Yes. My family was destroyed. Also, yes. I was sent to hell. Mm, yes, you were. Things cut each other to pieces. Yeah. All in the name of progress. Yeah. Progress is a dangerous thing. Progress the same as regress as well, I think. Progress can drive you to horrific things. In the name of progress, it's okay if we sacrifice a million people. That can happen, I guess. You know, but also in the name of regress, we sacrifice a million people. That also happens. Both of those, like, it's basically, I, I think, my opinion again, extremes are very, very bad. Like, you have to balance it out progress and it can drive people to like to really do dangerous stuff because again the human corruption will seep into the progress if you're not careful and what has changed yeah what has changed to destroy each other and the world around us yeah that is true there is one question I have to you here. What does mean save ourselves? What do you consider that to be? The Santi have achieved miracles beyond our wild. Really? And what are they? They are coming to share their knowledge. Yeah, I'm going to press X on that sister. Oh, God. At enormous speeds. But it will take them centuries to arrive. Oh. Okay. I thought they would do. Um, so they are really just about 200 years away from our technological level. They are only 200 years away. And they revere them as gods. That's so fricked. Why would you do that? If you define God as a savior, perhaps then. If you say the thing about God is it will save 
our our ideas, our culture, species, or whatever. I don't even know what exactly they will save here because she's not telling me. But if that's your definition of God, then yes, they might be gods to you. And you might find them, you might find it useful to praise them. That's so, so interesting. 400 years. 400 years. So need 100 years for one light year. Hmm, how quick are they? How quick are they? Six seconds, no, six times around the world in a second, I think, light can travel about. So, 40,000. 40,000 times six is 24,000. 24, 24, no, 240, I'm sorry, I'm dumb. 240,000 kilometers per second, basically. I mean... I'm so stupid, I know it's 299,999. <laughs> what, what am I even doing? It was a good approximation nonetheless. So, uh, like, basically 300,000 kilometers per second. Let me actually calculate that. Yeah, so if I calculated it correctly and if I didn't, uh, call me dumb, because it is basically just like uh, a hundred of the speed of light, which would have been easier than me calculating a lot of bullshit. But sometimes that is what happens if it's 1 a.m. in the morning. So <laughs> you have to excuse me for that. But yeah, they are like 3000 kilometers per second if I correct calculated correctly, which are speeds I think humans could achieve as well already. So they are not far ahead of us anyway. Space is big. And because they don't even need generation shifts, they just have to dehydrate. To them. We must prepare the world for their arrival. Oh God, but how are you going to do that? Mike Evans thanks you. And our Lord, the Santi, thanks you. I mean, that's so weird. Like, she should know that that's not that more, like, that much above our current technology level. Like... I guess the meaning is more like um, spiritual guidance than technological guidance she wants, I think. I think she thinks that's what we need. I, that's what I get from it now that I think more about it. Gift of our world, so that they can do with it what we could not. Which is? So what? Oh God, what? <laughs> FBI! <laughs> We can mend what we've broken. Yeah, we've broken a lot. The question is, by the way, I have, and I, I don't know, it depends on your definitions. What we are doing to the planet right now, is that also evolution or is it not? Is it not? I'm not sure if it is. Wouldn't it technically be? But it's not the same evolution. It's, it's weird categorizing it as evolution. I don't know why it feels so weird. If someone has an idea why it feels weird and gets the point I don't, I'm not seeing right now, but I feel like there's a point to be made why it's not necessarily. But then again, I'm a physicist. I don't know a lot about these things. You know, it's just like, but yeah. So they storm them. Great. What are they accusing them of? They did do nothing wrong. Yeah, do not resist. They can't do anything. What are they supposed to do? It is our Lord's will. Oh God, that's so dangerous. But she's right though. She's right though. And she stopped the bloodbath, potentially, I guess. Our Lord will protect us from our enemies. Oh God. I mean... If you replace Lord by friend, it's like it feels better a bit because it's not the zealousy inside of those words. But if she says like my alien friends will protect us, that's also pretty badass. I like that. I love yeah, I, I love look at that. I love this three body simulation here. And they have even have the marble as the planet here. You see it here a bit, like this little fly shit. That's the planet that's like rolling around in this like potential well, it's called. What are they accused of? <laughs> like What's gonna happen? They they can't do anything against them. Perhaps the Santi will do some weird stuff. Why would you do that? Everyone will know you are the mole. 
Yeah, she knows. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I was just, just going to go for them. Oh, she shot her. I think she shot her. I mean, she's pretty clever. She's probably one of my favorite characters. Don't know. I kind of also like that she's a psychopath a bit. Don't even know why. It's so weird. I just found, find her awesome and badass. I think something is wrong with me. Tell me what you think of her. Perhaps the actress is doing such a brilliant job. I don't know. Then again, I loved Siler as well as a character and entity. Wow, and she's just sitting there believing to be protected. It's so scary as well. Just gunning down everyone here. What the frick, man? Oh, she wasn't shot. She was, I guess, someone just bumped into her. Oh, yes, that's awesome. <laughs> wow, Clarence, that was a good shot. Why didn't she shoot her, by the way? She could have... Perhaps she just wanted to play with her a bit. She, she, I think she's the character that would do that a bit. I don't even know what her name is, though. Oh, it's interesting. Hi there! <laughs> I mean, if they were really a bit morally corrupt, they could be like, yeah, just shoot them all. It was like they're, they're, they started it. Then they are done with it. That was like... Like, that would be dark as fuck, but that would be an interesting story beat. Because then, like, they really show that the humans are, like, kind of, the, like, the, the, the outside forces are the ones that, like, that don't hesitate to eradicate something. Because, yes, she started it, the, the cool woman started it. Oh, God, I'm, something's wrong with me, but she's, a, she's cool. So she started it. Um, yeah. I mean, in real life, I would hate that probably. Like that would be scary. But in a show, of characters like that, I don't. I don't know. I like them. I've never met characters like that in real life. I think though, would also probably be interesting to talk to, but also very scary. So did they um, arrest ye? Yeah. It's so weird how much a uh, year is. Oh god, she's just scrolling away! Oh god, that's so awesome! <laughs> that's so awesome. She is very determined as well. Like, we've had her speak the truth like two times perhaps, and that was this episode. All the other times she either was cryptic or was just saying what she was told. So all we saw was were her actions. She's freaking ruthless and she's freaking determined. Like she just crawled away with a leg shot and she heard, like we saw it as well. Holy frick, man. That is how you write characters. Just show it, don't tell. Could have told me she was a badass, but she showed, they showed me and I like that. Good writing. Oh, Jack. I mean, she ended Jack, so. That's a, that's a minus point. Oh, I think I do have the same chessboard, by the way. I think it's from Amazon. Ah, oh, Jack, man, that's so sad. What books did he have? Fairy tales, of course he did have that. I love the folks in fairy tales. Oh, dear Will, happy, dear Will, happy birthday to the best of us. May our stories be happier than these, love, Jin. Oh, the poor wolf as well. May our stories... Because, you know, you know how fricked, especially German fairy tales were. Like, for example, in German Cinderella, the, the stepdaughters, like, they cut, like, they mutilate their feet to fit in through the freaking shoe. Like, man, or... or People, like, die a lot more than in the Disney stuff, like, they were dark. Because you needed these fairy tales as well, again, you needed the reality, like, somehow transported through generations through these stories. That's why I do think they're of great utility and real in a sense. In that sense only, though, of course. That's so awesome. Oh god, who's gonna ambush them? It's not gonna go well. I'm very anxious right now. After Jack's funeral, we could 
Maybe we'll use a yeah, perhaps break. now you could go bird watching. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, so he did like put away the cans for a bit, apparently. Uh, I don't know if you feel like staring at the channel, but that sounds nice. yeah, it sounds really nice just to cut of staring at the ocean. And Raj, of course. Oh, Raj probably. Yeah, probably Rush doesn't know that she just went into a super secret mission. Are you driving somewhere? Uh, yeah. Yeah, where are you driving, Jim? Yeah, where are you driving? <laughs> it's a bit dangerous. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Jim, where are you? Yeah, man, poor Will. I'm intrigued for what Will will do, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. You didn't tell them? All of us. Yeah, what about all of you? It started a long time ago. Oh, you're gonna tell them all of it. He's not gonna believe you, probably. Oh, another flashback. 1984. What a brilliant year. So, so funny that it's called Judgment Day. I mean, she probably technically is the leader. Like, Evans is not completely the leader. Evans seems to be a bit along the right. Just the one with the resources a bit. Because she was so careless with the alien overmind thing. It's international, no one can... Yeah, that's the thing. Took me eight years to receive a response last time. Yeah, that's true. You have you might have to wait. Oh really? Oh they tried to reach her. <laughs> I mean she was an ally, and if they can't lie, they think she also didn't lie, which means they trust her Rhea right now, by the way. You're very important to them. Ooh, interesting. About us. And they want to teach us about themselves. That's so cool, though. But she still has that on her mind. Yeah, man. Real again. <laughs> but this time material as well. Yeah. So you're gonna be happy? What? Okay, so the people that are for the aliens, so to speak, they do want to better themselves in a perhaps even real way. But they probably, perhaps they don't even know what that means to them. But I mean, and here uh, Vera is probably created, but I don't know. So who's going to judge her? And she didn't really do anything, I guess. So what are you going to do? Something really fricked is going to happen because they will definitely protect her. Sweet, going to bite the dust here. <laughs> What's on judgment is also such a good pun. You've got me because they let. You. Yeah, definitely. She's really believing in them. But I wouldn't say you let us do anything. We didn't let you. They let you. Oh, that's so interesting. Man, I would be so creeped out by that woman. You think you do? But... Yeah, we don't have any idea. And when they arrive? Yes, what then? You'll be so grateful. Oh, God, that is so. Oh, God. What? Oh, okay. I will watch the next one tomorrow. But man, it was awesome. <laughs> so, so good. Love the themes of belief and stuff as well, even though I'm not an expert. Please remember that. Please remember that. Though there are some things I would love your opinion on. Um, there was not a lot of physics in this one, though. So I hope you still liked it a bit. Uh, yeah, I will have to digest it a bit. And uh, yeah, 
yeah, as I said, I hope you liked it a bit. Uh, tell me what you thought of this um, and of the ideas discussed. So, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. You will see that next week um, on Patreon perhaps a bit earlier. But uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day. So uh, take care of yourself as always, and I will see you soon. Bye. He looked into my eyes, and I almost threw up from guilt. I'm angry and sad, but I also know that something like this happens every few generations. It happens to remind us that something endures in the mountains, deep within the rocks, that the past is still here, resting beneath the hills, and occasionally it sends its nightmares up to us. If you enjoyed this little tease, consider checking out my new story, The Waters That Hate It. It is available now for free on Vidith 22s YouTube channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you for watching and take care.